This is the new DS419 Slim. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and Synology has just released the DS419 Slim. This is a brand new NAS that builds upon the DS416 Slim that we saw from 2017. We got the same enclosure, four 2.5 inch drive sleds along the back, two gigabit ethernet ports, two USB 3.0 ports, and a power input. Synology is well known for their NAS devices. It's primarily what they do. And the DS419 Slim is on the lower end of their wide range of devices. It is very small and it's pretty powerful for its size. It's not near as powerful as the larger units and it can only handle 20 terabytes of storage, whereas some of the larger ones with expansions can get up to 140 terabytes. But that's not who this is aimed for. It's not meant to be the most powerful and the largest in the size. It's literally meant to be extremely small and compact. 20 terabytes right here in the palm of your hand. And it's easy to get started, set up, just like any Synology drive would be. Now these do work with 2.5 inch drives, whether SSDs or HDDs. And in this case, we're gonna use the Seagate Iron Wolf 110s. These are brand new drives out and these SSDs are specifically made for NAS enclosures. So there's a lot of really great tech in here that makes them specifically suited for this use case. So we're gonna use four of these 240 gig drives, giving us roughly about a terabyte, a little less than that because they're not full 250 gigs and once they're formatted and set up in RAID, we'll get a little bit less usable space. But we're gonna put four of those in here and get going. Once each drive has been secured to the sled and fully inserted into the back of the NAS, we just need to plug in our power and plug it into ethernet and we're good to go. There is a fan along the bottom though, in our case it rarely spun up at all. Especially if you're using SSDs, this thing is nearly silent. There is a button on the front you press to get going and then you can head to find.synology.com or use the DS Finder app over on the App Store. It was extremely easy to set up our DS419 Slim and it gives you lots of options to configure your device. You can manage storage, manage users, see what's going on, apps. There is even a mobile version of DSM. That is the disk station manager from Synology and it's kind of like a desktop type interface to use to manage your NAS. Manage your files, manage users, really anything from a desktop kind of point of view. It's literally like you're working with Mac or Windows, but instead of controlling your computer, you're just controlling your NAS device. You can install packages, remove packages, all of that from the mobile operating system. A lot of the packages that you can install, which are kind of like apps for your NAS device, come with corresponding Synology apps, such as Synology Moments, DS Cloud, DS Files, DS Drive, all of these can be installed on the NAS, then there's mobile versions of the apps to access them wherever you are. It's really handy though, it does take a little bit of knowing which ones you want to use and where to find them all. Booting up Disk Station Manager over on your actual computer with Quick Connect, it's very easy to do. It's pretty straightforward and Synology does walk you through the basics as soon as you launch it for the first time. There's even a launch pad type interface for accessing your apps and packages. If you want to move any around, just grab Plex here, drag it, and you can drop it on your desktop as a nice little shortcut. Synology has made this such a great piece of software and it is available on all the different Synology NAS, so it's not specific to the DS419 Slim. But a few of the basics here, you can run through the package center, install any different packages slash apps that you may want to use with your NAS, tons of options here and you can see the versatility of having one of these on your network. Whether you're a developer using this to run databases, Node.js, PHP, whether you're using this as a mail server, a file server, whether you're using this just to back up photos, back up your computers, all that stuff can be done here. It is extremely well versed in all these different workflows. You can host your website, you can use this as a replacement for Google Drive or Dropbox. There's just so much you can do with a NAS on your network. One of my personal favorites to use with a NAS like the DS14 Slim is running Plex. So Plex is a media server and it runs on either your computer or in this case our NAS device. And it houses all of your content, your movies, your TV show, your music, anything that you have stored there, it can easily be viewed through Plex. And if you have a network antenna like the Silicon Dust HD Home Run Extend, you can actually use this to record, play, and pause live TV. It literally turns into a DVR. You can see our current lineup of channels. I can pick a TV show, record it, and all that will get stored right on my DS14 Slim on the network, and I can access it from anywhere. The DS419 Slim from Synology is a great device, powerful and compact while running nearly silently. If you want to grab one, you can find the link down below in the description. 
everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.